Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at your next romantic partner. Um, my intention for this reading is that it is somebody brand new, but we're not going to write off that it could possibly be somebody from your past coming back in. Now, I did do um, a video for you guys that I decided to make a bonus reading because it did feel like it was all about somebody from your past past. Okay. So if you want to check that out, I will have it linked to the end of this video. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, I'm just going to ask that you guys go ahead and smash that like, bu like button for me. <laughs> um, it does great things for this video and also for my channel. And I just want to let you guys know how much I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Your love and support means so much to me. So Scorpios, let's go ahead and see who is coming towards you. Who's your next romantic partner? All right, so we've got the Four of Cups in reverse. So a lot of you guys, you're not going to see this coming. All right, everything is fine in reverse. Okay, Four of Wands. Some of you, it could be a twin flame or a soulmate. And we've got the King of Swords in reverse. Okay. Interesting. Overall energy, we've got the Justice card, Libran energy. So for a lot of you guys, this is some sort of karmic justice for you and this person. Um, with the King of Swords here in reverse, um, I feel like this person has a hard time expressing their emotions, their feelings. Um, it may be somebody who sort of acts kind of cool and acts like everything's fine and you know maybe they act like they're not even that into you. But they're gathering up their strength and their courage to reach out, to ask you out on a date. Um, for some of you, they want to make something up to you. Again, if you've had a fight or a disagreement, or maybe even some of you guys, um, you haven't been talking to this person. All right, so Four of Cups in reverse tells me they're, they are going to be giving you some sort of message or some sort of gift or an offer. All right, so we have strong air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And like I said, with that Four of Wands, a lot of you guys, this is going to be a connection that really goes somewhere. Yeah, this person is going to give you some sort of gift. Um, they have a tendency to put um, the needs of others first. So it's important to establish healthy expectations around their generosity. Yeah, it's interesting because in your bonus reading, Scorpio, it was kind of like you had been dealing with somebody that liked to be indulged. Maybe you had been overgiving. So this could be your karmic justice, right? That you get somebody here that's going to be, you know, who's going to be a giver, who's going to be thoughtful. Um, we get intense. So this person is definitely intense beneath the surface. Um, the depth of their thoughts and emotions indicate a high intellect and a strong focus on their subject. And I feel like that's you. They're very focused on you, Scorpio. Um, they may have strong earth in their energy or in their chart. So it rules the root chakra. A person with strong earth also needs to release any tendency towards rigidity. Okay. And let's see here. And we've got Gemini. Ooh, so we've got really strong air energy. Symbolized by the twins, ruled by Mercury. They're the thinkers and communicators of the Zodiac. All right, with many facets. And we have karmic soulmate. So this doesn't necessarily mean that, it doesn't necessarily mean that this person is your karmic soulmate or that they're not meant to stick around. But you guys are meant to learn lessons in this connection and really help each other evolve. What I'm seeing here too, some of you guys, you had to deal with a karmic before you got to this person, or there was karma that maybe needed to be healed and cleared before you guys could sort of come into union. All right, so interesting energy here so far. Let's see if we can get some additional messages. This is somebody who, again, they, like I said, they might have gone through a very difficult past or been through something very difficult. I don't know if it's the loss of a loved one um, or some sort of, you know, upheaval in their life. And I feel like they kind of played it cool, but they are going to really open up to you. But they might be a little bit of a tough nut to crack at first. Okay, my Scorpios. Um, wow, this, this energy has come out for your other reading, your bonus reading, but also um, in the Taurus reading. So this person sees your worth and your value. And this true gem energy is like about chipping away at those tough layers to get to that, 
to that true gem underneath. So again, you know, this person might have a bit of a hard exterior and we see that with the King of Swords there in reverse. They might be very quiet, but I feel like they're very different than you might be expecting. So mature woman. So when these cards come out in this, in this deck in particular, you guys, I always ask you just to play with the energies. This doesn't have to be you or them. It could be somebody who's just really pivotal or really important to their connection or to your connection. So we do see freedom. Okay. So interesting. Some of you guys, this person, um, is freeing themselves from a, from a karmic soulmate. Maybe you guys have so that you guys can come together. That's kind of what I'm getting. I'm also getting that this person, although they're going to be very intense, um, they're also going to give you or need that healthy space and that room to breathe, which is really, really nice. Like it's going to be an intense connection, but they're not going to have to be like up on you all the time. Right. And we get strong soulmates. So yes, this is your soulmate. Some of you guys, it may even be a twin flame connection. Okay, so we have 1111 and the, just, and the justice card. I haven't been reading the bottom of this deck, but we do see that there's destiny, divine intervention, bringing you guys together here. Okay, very nice, Scorpio. So let's see what other clues we can get regarding this person, this connection, please. Yeah, some this person may have difficulties. I mean, even though they've got this gen, this Gemini energy, they may have difficulties communicating their deep innermost feelings. Okay, um, but I feel like they're they have they're very social or they've got this sort of presence like where they get along with a lot of different people. But I feel like when it comes to letting somebody get really close to them, they might be a little bit closed off. Okay. So we get, I want more moments with you. Yeah. So I feel like both of you guys, if you're apart, you know, it, like some of you guys, when you go to work, you're going to be missing each other. Um, when, if you guys have to be apart, you know, you're just going to, I think you're both going to sort of make, make room in your schedules, in your lives to be with one another. Um, we get this energy of wasting time. Yeah. So I feel like for some of you guys too, this person doesn't want to waste any more time. They're going to reach out. They're going to make you this offer. Um, some of them, they might be hard on themselves. Like if you guys, um, you know, if you've known this person or you've been around them, they know that they haven't expressed these feelings to you. They know that they have difficulty with it. So I feel like they might beat themselves up a little bit about how long it's taken for them to like ask you out or confess their feelings. We see evidence. So this, this indicates like third party, that type of energy, but I'm not getting that. I think you already know Scorpio because you guys are so naturally intuitive, but I think you guys already have enough evidence that this person's really into you. Um, some of you guys, you just feel, you feel that energetic cord when you guys are around each other. There's just something very special, very distinct about this person. And we get stressful. Yeah, I think this person's been under a lot of stress. Um, I think also about maybe anything that's come between you guys. I think this person gets kind of stressed about having to having to open up to people because I do feel that they've been hurt in the past, okay? A lot of you, they might reach out on social media. They might even have been asking your friends and your family about you or like, you know, trying to get clues about you. And now they just feel like they're wasting time because I feel this person normally is not indecisive, but excuse me, Scorpio, but there was something here that made them feel that way. Okay. And so it's like, it just kind of stressed them out because I, I feel this person's quite used to being successful quite powerful in their own right but when it comes to love and especially when it comes to you like they're like ah I just you know I'm wasting time I'm going back and forth um they've got a lot going on beneath the surface and I think it's because you really spark something beautiful powerful within them um that maybe they're not used to sort of feeling okay so let's see what additional messages come through any clues about who this person might be called you the other night so again they might have called you they might have called you about something silly um, and what I mean by that is like, they might've tried to ask you out before, um, or they might've called you to ask if to borrow something or to ask you some sort of question. I feel like they're kicking themselves for not telling you how they really felt. Some of you, you might've even been on to that. Now do play with time because I do speak in the present or maybe even in the past tense. So it could be something that happens, you know, in the next couple of weeks or something where this person might already be in your energy, but you don't know they have these feelings although a lot of you will suspect it early on. 
They may have a severe allergy. That can be to anything. That could be hay fever. That could be to shellfish. Um, wears a meaningful accessory often. I did just see somebody maybe wearing a cross, um, but it doesn't have to be that. Okay, that's just what they showed me. And we get is a fire sun sign. Okay, so they might be Aries, Leo, or Sag. And yeah, it has been extremely hurt by a loved one in the past. Yeah, and I feel like they kind of tried to like play that off or play it down. I think this person is going to really open up to you. You're going to see a lot more of them or get to know them a lot more than, than you realize, like that they're much deeper, much more multifaceted than you were, um, than you were expecting. Um, I do apologize if it's getting kind of dark in here, Scorpio. I'm not really sure what that's about. Um, all right. Let's see what else we can get regarding this connection, please, for my dear Scorpios. Past life love. So some of you guys, um, it may be somebody that you you know from your past. It doesn't necessarily mean that you were involved with them that way. Um, but I also feel there's going to be a camaraderie, a connection, a feeling comfortable with one another that comes from maybe having past experiences together, maybe not even in this lifetime. Um, this person, like I said, I feel like they're quite decisive, but they're really worried about being rejected. Um, and I feel like, you know, they, I, I, I feel like more than anything, it's this person. They beat themselves up because they've made the decision to tell you and to ask you out. But then I feel like they kind of chicken out sometimes. All right. And we get mastery. You've learned the spiritual lesson. Beautiful. So a lot of my Scorpios, um, I just feel like you guys intuitively already know what you want. And I think a lot of you intuitively know you guys are a really good match. Like this is some sort of karmic justice for you guys coming together. So I'm kind of getting my Scorpios, you guys being kind of relaxed, knowing that this is coming, knowing that you don't have to put in any sort of extra work, just allow them to come to you. And yeah, be patient. Everything will unfold in divine timing. And I feel like you can trust your intuition about this person, Scorpio. I think you can also trust this person feel safe. They feel safe to me. I think they're going to feel safe to you as well. Okay. So you can be yourself. You'll be able to be vulnerable. This person's not lying, cheating. You know, I think this person's pretty much an open book, but they do have a hard time like letting people in. So some of you guys, any time apart, they feel like they've been wasting time. And for some of you, um, you know, it just feels right. And it might be that you guys were together in a past life. So you, there was this separation. You're going to feel like, man, this soulmate, like, where have you been all my life? Um, just know that sometimes we need to evolve separately before we can come together. And for some of you, it may be a reconciliation. Okay. We get forever young. So this person may look or act a lot younger than they truly are. Um, and I also feel too, this person Maybe somebody that you know from your youth, right? Or just makes you feel young again. Brings back that energy of love. Um, workplace romance. So some of you guys, you know this person from work. You worked with them in the past or you work with them now. And we get third party. Yeah, some of you guys, this person was waiting for you to get out of a connection. Maybe some of you were waiting for them to get out of a connection. Okay. Um, and we do see decision. So it could be, I'm not getting that this person has you in a third party situation, Scorpio. Um, for some of you, like, like I said, you guys are either colleagues or your friends and, um, they're waiting for you to be free before they come together. Maybe you guys are just sort of getting to know each other. Um, maybe they're, they're freeing themselves. Um, they this is somebody who's definitely going to wait until they're healed. Um, they're not going to sort of rush into a connection here, Scorpio. Um, and we also see bonding. So as you get to know each other, you discover many things in common. Yeah, beautiful. So I feel like it's going to be a little bit of a, like this person is has taken that time to realize that you are their person. Um, now do be a careful, you know, of third party. So you do want to just make sure that you know everything about this person. But I kind of feel like there's already or there's going to be a closeness between you guys and you're going to recognize like you're going to know what's going on in each other's lives to a certain degree okay all right let's see what else we've got here with the romance angels for my dear scorpios additional messages please i do apologize if you guys are picking up on any background noise uh people are being loud so let's see 
So release your ex. So the time has come to clear your energy. So it could be your person too. Again, maybe when you met this person, they were with somebody else and they've taken this time to sort of heal. Um, but they knew that they wanted to have a shot with you, Scorpio. Okay. And for some of you, they've been waiting for you to heal and release someone before they come together with you. So we have romantic feelings. So your feelings are real and worth exploring. And we have separation. So we get this twice. Some of you guys, you're in separation from this person. Um, some of you, you're on a break from your ex or from someone, and this person's going to kind of cut in. They might be worried that, you know, you're still into your ex or something like that. Maybe you are. And we get religious factors. But I do feel that this is a destined partnership. Um, and this person's going to come in and take you out on a date. They might want to do things sort of traditionally. But I definitely see that you guys are on each other's path for a reason. You may be twin flames or soulmates. I feel like there were some tough lessons for you guys to learn before you guys could come together or come back together. But I get really positive energy. And we see that with karmic soulmate. There may have been a karmic soulmate that was sort of coming in between you guys or delaying you guys coming together. But... I do kind of feel like all systems ago here, you guys, and I love this energy. You know, it's safe for you to trust this person, your intuition, and the situation. That's so important. All right, you guys, I'm going to leave it here, sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, guys, take care.